Hey everybody, this is going to be an overview and walkthrough of the Sortio X Chrome extension tool for Amazon influencers. So if this is your first time coming across the web store page, in order for you to actually download this, you can automatically add it to Chrome. But what's going to happen is as you add it to your Chrome, it's actually going to be hidden on the top right where this puzzle piece is. So if you click on there, you will see the Sortio X tool hidden right here. You can either leave it there or you can click on the pin so that it automatically shows up here on the same uh, spot as your search bar. Now, once you've actually got that pinned, what you'll need to do is click on the icon and use an email and password to log in. If you have not purchased an email and password, then you'll either click on buy now or you can click up here on the actual Sortio X title. So if we go ahead and click on that, it'll bring you to the Sortio X page where you can um, click on buy now or you can just scroll all the way down to where it says buy now or sign up now. So we'll click on sign up now and you can register by using all of these information or by using all of this information that it's asking you for, put in your email address and then you will pay uh, the fee here with either PayPal or site Stripe. So once you've paid to the email that you used here, you will receive an, an email, uh, email reset password link. So you will reset your password and then you will come back to sortiox.com where you will then be able to log in here on your account page. Now the same account they use to log in here on the sortiox.com page, you will also use to log in over here on Amazon. So once again, you'll click on that tool and then you will put in your password, you will put in your email, and then you will log in. Okay, so once you've clicked log in, it'll tell you right here, subscription, active. Now, because I'm on a test one and I'm an admin, mine says not active, but yours should say active, okay? Now, you're free to use the Amazon page. If you already had a page open, for example, if you were already on a search page before you logged in, then you will need to refresh your search your search page after logging into the Chrome extension tool here. Once you have done that, you will see all of these tables loading in here, okay? This is where all of the cool, the fun stuff, the magic happens. This is why we want this tool. Because as you can see, there are a ton of different um, variables that go into actually buying products for the Amazon Influencer Program. And this just makes our lives so much easier. So instead, bef uh, before we had to click on each individual product and, you know, see if there were videos on the listing, see how many reviews it had, see all of these important details before we purchased the product. And that took forever, having to open each individual page. Now with this uh, Sortio X tool, you actually see all these cool details directly on the search page of Amazon for every single product. So. What I like to do actually is Amazon themselves has a sort by feature. I like to sort by best sellers because this ensures that I will get the highest selling products and I can do my product research from this page directly. So the tool should automatically load in here. Give it a few seconds. It is scraping a lot of data from each individual listing. So sometimes it may run a little bit slower just because you got to keep in mind it's running all of this information from each individual listing. So just give it about uh, 30 to 60 seconds and it'll really get all the information on this page. Now you can see you've got ASIN. You can copy that to clipboard if you wanted to. You've got the rating. You can see, does it have a video carousel? Yes, it'll say a check mark. No, it'll have a red X. It shows you how many video slots are currently available, how many influencer videos are currently available or on there. It'll show you whether or not your video is on the page. So here you can see that my video is actually on the page. One thing that you do need to note is that in order for you to see if your video is on a page, you've got to actually log into your Manage Creator Hub on Amazon. So that's where you go to see uh, all your information and data like you see here. You've got to have this page opened at least once in order to get that information about whether or not your video is on a page. Okay. Otherwise the tool will not know what influencer to look for by opening your creator hub and manage page. You will then have the ability to see this feature. Otherwise it'll just say your video is not on there. Okay. Very important. So 
It'll also tell you whether or not there is a low stock on the product, which is also very important to know because you don't want to buy a product that's out of stock frequently or else you won't make any commission off of that. You want to know if it's sponsored. Usually if a product is sponsored, that means that they are avidly trying to promote their product. They're very serious about their brand. They really want to get sales. So that just means that they're less likely to go out of stock as well. So that's an important feature. You can see your influencer commission, percentage, and the actual amount that you'll earn an affiliate commission if you're doing off-site sales, and then the amount that you'll earn. You can also see the best seller rank, which uh, with a uh, direct link to each of these individual categories, and then the date that it was first available. But to make this even easier, you can actually either hide these things. Say you don't really care about off-site sales, you can hide this, and that'll even help the application load a little, uh, load a little bit quicker if perhaps you're running on a slower type of uh, PC or it just can't handle a lot of what we're, what we're asking it to scrape. So you can hide different features on here. And if you don't wanna hide anything, you wanna leave it all there, that's fine too. But the cool part is you can actually click here. It's a little bar graph. Click on any of those bar graphs and you'll have this table that pops up. So this table is actually gathering every single product from this listing. As you can see on the bottom left, there are 102 current products from this page that we're searching for, which are Halloween party decorations. Here is where I spend most of my time. Very rarely do I actually scroll through each page and look at each individual table, but some people like that. So we've gone ahead and kept that feature but this is where you will probably be spending most of your time. What you'll do here is you can either sort from high to low, like video slots available. You can go high to low, five all the way down to zero. You can do that for influencer videos. You can do that for influencer commission. You can see which ones are the highest sellers, stuff like that on the rating. And then if you click on the left here, you can see that there's a little drop down menu. You can see the best seller rank uh, right beneath each individual product. But what we just installed was this filter feature. So now as you're, as you're loading in all these products and the products are getting uh, onto the table, you can actually filter this even further. So let's say we wanted Halloween party decorations with a minimum price of $20. You do not have to put the dollar sign, just put the numerical value. So we want a minimum of $20. We want a minimum review of let's say 100. So we want there at least to be 100 reviews. But the most important part is here, the video slots available and the influencer videos available. Now they're pretty interchange interchangeable. So whichever one you use uh, will get you the same result. So let's say we want there to be anywhere from a minimum of one slot available so that we can essentially guarantee our spot on the listing and a max of four. We don't want five because then that obviously means that there are no spots for us to show up on the product page. So here, by filtering the 102 products, based on what we're looking for, we have two products that fall under the category of a minimum of $20, a minimum of $100, 100 reviews, sorry. It's got a minimum of one video available and then a max of four videos available. Now we could have done the same thing over here where we could have said a minimum of one influencer video and a max of four, and it would basically get us the same result here. So once again, you can sort by high to low, but because these are both the exact same, we have no need to do that. But even here you can sort by, maybe you want out of these two, now you want to sort by the highest influencer commission, right? So this one says $1.47 because it's a $36 product. So from here, you can click on the product link. It, this is a clickable link here where it says product. Click on there, it'll open up that page and let's just see what's going on here. So it's got a video. It says there's one influencer video, so let's just see. And yes, as you can see, it's got one influencer video. As you can see, it says earns commission, which means that they are an influencer. And that tells us that there are also four video slots available, right? which is awesome. Just like that, you've gone from 102 total products, filtered it down to two based on your exact liking. But I mean, even then, like I said, you can filter this any way you want. So let's say we wanted to do a minimum of 10. Well, now we've got an extra three products to choose from, and this can be done on any single page. So let's just say that we wanted to get the number one best sellers on all of Amazon. You can click on your best sellers here, and you have all of these different categories to choose from. It can get pretty overwhelming. But same thing with this tool, it'll show up on here. It'll also show up on your orders page, as you can see. To get it on your orders page, you'll actually click on the same table 
and you can do those same filtering and sorting features based on all the products here on your orders page. You can filter that same thing through all of the months or years that you've been using Amazon and just get all of those videos done. And like I said, it'll tell you here if your video has been done. So you can see here, I have a video for this product. So there's no need for me to do that product. But especially if you're starting out, you definitely want to start in your orders page, find out what products you already own that don't have any upper carry sales full. So let's go back over to our best sellers page and you can do that same thing. Table, filter it by anything you want. But here it's actually filtering everything on the best seller page. If you wanted to get more in depth, like here it says, best sellers, Amazon devices, best seller office products, best sellers in software, clothing, jewelry, books, all of those different options. Or you can click over here where you can be even more specific. So let's just say home and kitchen. This will give you all the best sellers in home and kitchen, where if you give it a second, it'll give you all of those same features on here. You can also hide anything. So if you don't want affiliate commission, you can hide that and it'll even help with loading in the extension a little bit quicker as well. So we'll go ahead and come over to the product page. This is the Halloween product that we had opened from the same Halloween decorations party search. This is what you're going to see here. When you open up a product page, you will see this box come up. In this box, you'll pretty much have the same features that you have over here on the table underneath the listings. The only thing here is that it might be a little bit easier to see everything because it's more uh, stretched out here. It's not all compact and kind of squished together here as it is over here. So that's the only benefit. But on the product page, you know how you also have related products? Well, you can also see those same details for each of these individual products, which is really nice when you're trying to compare similar products. And same thing as usual, click on that table, everything on that page will be able to be sorted and individually filtered based on your liking. So it's really, really cool. Okay, next. If we come over to the manage page, your creator hub page, you can easily and very quickly see where your videos show up based on each individual product. So you can filter through upper, lower or none. I've gone ahead and added this placement feature, which will be automatically added once you download the Sortio X Chrome extension. And then you also have this feature added with this feature. You can then either keep it as show all you can filter it by upper. So this will only show you all the videos from this individual page. Now you do have to switch to each page and it'll take a second to load them all. But this makes it way quicker than having to open each individual product, trying to see if your if your video is on there. You can go through lower, so it'll show you all the ones on the lower carousel, or it'll show you all the ones with none, which is also very valuable because you'll be able to see, um, why is my video no longer on here? Is it that my video is just not good enough? Is it that these other people are maybe spamming a post or something? But let's just see. For example, this is a Ninja Blender that I did. You can individually click these links. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. If you hover over this placement icon, whether it's on upper, none, lower, they can all be individually clicked and it'll be taking you to the product that you had tagged in that video. If we come over here to that blender, let me just see if my video is on here. So no, my video is not on here right now. And then you can just compare. See, is there something that you could have done differently in your video? If you go ahead and redo it, is there something that you can say or do that'll help it stand out compared to the ones that are now on here? Okay, if I scroll down to the lower carousel, I can also see that yes, my video is actually not on here. Otherwise, it would have said lower carousel. If there's anything that needs to be added or updated, you can easily find out about it by coming over here to the sortiox.com website where you can join the Amazon Influencer Facebook group. If you scroll all the way down, it'll say right here, connect and stay up to date with the upcoming features. Click on that, it'll take you to the Sortio X Facebook group where I consistently update you guys about what features are going to be added, what features you might want to see added, speak to the community or just talk about anything Amazon Influencer. Okay, so if you have any questions, just message support at SortioX.com. It's right here at the very bottom of the SortioX.com website. Thank you guys. I hope this was very easy to follow along with.